Well, welcome. This video is part three in our series here for lesson 1.2. In the previous videos, we've looked at how to use summation notation, and we talked about measures of central tendency, tendency in the first video. In the second video, we focused on um, how to find the weighted average as opposed to just a regular average. And in this particular video, we're going to be looking at uh, relative frequencies and how relative re frequencies relate to a weighted average. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into looking at the definition of a relative frequency and then look at some examples. Well, you can see here that we have the relative frequency is defined as the ratio of the number of times a number or event occurs to the total number of numbers or events. Maybe a better way to look at that would be, remember a ratio is a fraction, so you can write, define this uh, term by just writing out the fraction that it's the number of times the number of event occurs uh, divided by the total number of numbers or events. So that is what a relative frequency is. So let's look at an example so you can see more how we would do this. Here we have to celebrate the opening of a new branch. A clothing store advertised that the first 200 customers would randomly receive free gift cards valued at $5, $15, $50, or $100. An internal memo to the new store manager contained the following sentence. There will be five $100 cards, 10 $50 cards, 35 $15 cards, and the rest will be $5 cards. So what we're going to do here, the first step, is we're going to calculate the total dollar value of all the gift cards. So now remember, this is dealing with the first 200 customers. So that's going to help us when we do the $5 cards. But we know that there's going to be five $100 cards. So that would be $500 there. Plus, there's going to be 10 $50 cards. So that's another $500. Plus, there's going to be 35 $15 cards. And then that's going to leave us with, if you take the fact that there's five $100 cards, 10 uh, $50 cards, and 35 $15 cards, that adds up to be 50 cards so far. That means that there's 150 gift cards left over. So those 150 cards are going to be all $5. So that's going to be a total, if you do that on your calculator, that's going to give you a total of $2,275. So that's how much, how much in gift cards that the company will be giving away. That's part A here. Part B, it says, create a frequency table and calculate the weighted average as in example 3A. So we're going to do a weighted average just like we did before. Well, let's first let's start out with filling out this frequency table. So we have our first column is where we're going to record our card values. So we're going to have $100, $50, $15, and $5 gift cards. And for the frequency, that's referring to how many times is it going to occur. So the $100 gift card, there's going to be five of those. The $50 gift card, there's 10 of those. The $15 gift card, there's 35 of them. And lastly, for the $5 gift card, there's 150 of those. So there's your frequency table. Now, they want us to find the weighted average, just like we did in example 3A. Example 3A was where we divided the amount by the total weight. In this case, our total weight is the um, number of cards. So the uh, 5 adding the 5, the 10, the 35, and 150. So we have a total of 200 cards there. And if you divide that out, we get a total of $11.38. So what that means is that on average, each card's value would be worth about $11.38 as far as what uh, each customer should expect to win. Now granted, they're not going to get that much, but that's the average giveaway per person, the weighted average giveaway per person. So now we're going to figure out, part C says, create a relative 
frequency table and a graph. Now remember the relative, the definition of a relative frequency is that we're going to take the number of times that the event occurs divided by the total number of events. So we're going to have our card value here is 150, 15, and 5. So the relative frequency for the $100 gift card is that it's going to occur five times out of a total of 200. And it's the $50 gift card that occurs 10 times out of a total 200 possibilities. And the $15 card occurs 35 times out of 200. And the $5 gift card occurs 150 times out of 200. So that is our relative frequency. Now, in a second, we're going to create a graph for that. So to create a graph for that, notice how our relative frequency is uh, in terms of a decimal. So what we've got to do is we're going to change each of these fractions, these ratios, into its decimal equivalent. So 5 divided by 200 would give me 0 0.025. 10 divided by 200 would be 0 0.05. 35 divided by 200 is 0.175, and 150 divided by 200 is 0.75. So now I'm going to be able to create a frequency table, I'm sorry, frequency graph. And so to do that, we're going to create a bar graph just like you did yesterday in your assignment. So along the bottom here, this is referring to the um, card value, so the $5 gift card has a relative frequency of 0.75. So we're going to estimate 0.75 to be right about here. So I'm going to create a bar for that. For our $15 gift card, that's got a, relatively, a relative frequency of 0.175. So here's 0.1, here's 0.2. So 0.175 is going to be about 3 quarters of the way up. So we're going to create a bar, try to make the bar about the same width as the other bar. Our $50 gift card has a relative frequency of 0 0.05, which is halfway between 0 and 1. And lastly, our $100 gift card has a relative frequency of 0 0.025, which is going to be just barely above 0 there. So that's what our relative frequency graph would look like. Now let's look at part D. Part D says compute the weighted average using the relative frequency values and compare that result to the one from part A. So now we're going to find the weighted average using the information from this table. So to do that, I'm going to write it like this. Now you could use the 0 0.025, but you'll see in a minute why I'm using the fraction form, why I'm using the ratios. Okay, so now this is what I would use to find the weighted average. Now you might say, well, wait a minute. To find the weighted average, aren't we supposed to divide by a number? Well, in essence, we are. We're dividing each of those frequencies by 200. So we've already done that portion. We've already done the dividing portion. So I can just go ahead and compute this. Take 100 times 5 divided by 200 and so on. And in reality, really, we could be using the decimal form. That would be a lot easier as opposed to writing out these fractions. But I did the fractions in this example just to show you that the reason why we're not dividing by anything is we're already dividing by 200. So in reality, to find the weighted average using the relative frequency, you could have just taken 100 times 0 0.025, 50 times 0 0.05, and so on. So our, rel or our weighted average, we end up getting the same amount, $11.38. So using the, finding the weighted average using the uh, relative frequency, frequency is going to give us the same amount as if we had done it the other way. Now it says for part E, if there were an equal number of each gift card, what would the average be? So if there were the same amount of each gift card, so let's just say there was one of each, we would add up those values. So we would take a $100 gift card. There's only, let's say if there's only one of each of these, so that would be one $100 gift card plus one $50 gift card and so on. And there's four numbers that we're adding together, so we would divide by four. And if you do that, you end up getting $42.50.
which is a big difference. So there you have it. That is how we work with relative frequencies. So now you should be able to complete the rest of your assignment, having completed these three parts to this lesson. So with that, good luck on your assignment.